Welcome back, everyone. In this part of the discussion, Andrew, we're going to start unpacking the Retirement Income Covenant even further. And where I'd like to start is really understanding a little bit more about the Retirement Solutions Assessment Framework that Deloitte worked on earlier this year. Uh, I think you're a little bit of a clairvoyant in um, releasing that before the regulator feedback, but it looks like now that we've got the feedback, there's some really interesting ways in which trustees might use that framework to start to move the dial on retirement outcomes. Yeah, I, well, I think it, it goes back when you think about group insurance. So there's group insurance tenders. We've been involved in running those for a number of years, and you look at different We've been in a elements. few of them ourselves, right? <laughs> exactly yeah. right. So it plays into that, the strengths of both of our areas, and so it sort of made common sense that the uh, retirement solutions would need something similar. So that we look, when we're looking at you know, what products and features are going to be needed by the funds mm. and how we're going to help choose providers that are relevant to the members' needs. And so he's coming up with a framework that was principles based around those same features was uh, made sense at the time. Mm. And one of the things that we've really seen in our conversations with uh, funds around retirement and also our group insurance partners today is they have quite um, a tricky balance they're trying to strike between meeting regulator expectations around things like the covenant, but also they've already had um, quite a significant focus on improving member outcomes through SPS 515 mm. and so forth. I'm just interested in your view around how can trustees really uh, join the dots between retirement income covenant, member outcomes assessment framework that they already need to meet, plus all the other regulatory obligations that they have um, and the regulator coming out recently with some more expectations around the covenant? Yeah, so I think the, the end of the day, they need to understand what their members need in retirement and mm -hmm. how, the, how the product solution is going to help. Yes. And a big part of that is, you know, so that goes to the product features aspects of the, the framework and making sure that we've got the right investment solutions tied with the right longevity protection and taking into account the means test as mm. well. And how are you going to communicate that to members? And so what services go along with the product as well? And how, you know, how a provider is going to help members to understand how a particular product is going to help them in retirement, in their retirement journey, and get a better retirement outcome. So all of that wrapped together, I think it, it, the funds are going to have to come up with ways to wrap it together and to make sure that the members understand retirement yeah. a lot better than they have in the past. And so it really goes back to that uh, phrase that we used in the first discussion around fit for purpose. So mm. making sure that the trustees have available a, a sort of a wide body of solutions, if you like, maybe not too wide, but wide enough that they can actually guide uh, members or provide members with a choice between a few different options that allows them to feel confident that the solution is fit for purpose. Yes, and, and probably having some tools that allow them to play with it themselves to mm. understand the impact of changes in some of it. So if I wanted to take a more aggressive investment approach, how does that impact on my retirement income? Um, the guarantee provided by a longevity solution, including the means test, what does that do to the income in the early part of retirement versus later in retirement? Matching up those various parts and understanding it is, is quite a tricky, mm -hmm. tricky equation for members to get through. And not all trustees are going to approach this space the same way. Um, I know that we've been speaking about uh, the dialogue that you've been having with mm. trustees. Are you seeing sort of a, a couple of different approaches around how trustees are looking to enhance retirement solutions for their members? I think one of the issues the industry's had over the years has been um, products that get left on the shelf. Mm. Um, so that they, a new product's developed, eight members join and that's it. And so these legacy products have been a problem for the industry for some time. And so I think trustees are concerned about that as well. I think the very large funds are probably more confident that they can build an embedded solution themselves mm. and then work with a, a longevity solution provider to put a wrapper around their own investments. But for many, you know, probably most participants in the industry, they're probably going to start off with a marketplace solution where mm. they might put a and longevity product on their platform that's available to members to buy or for advisors to advise members into. So we'll probably see a combination of the two for a while. And as we get more confident that uh, members are going to access these products over time, then we might see more and more funds go through an embedded solution, but that might take some time. Great, so there's going to be a spectrum of different approaches, but ultimately you're seeing that the larger funds might have, as you said, an embedded solution that leverages some of the existing products, capabilities and service models that they have and then for other funds, potentially 
more of a marketplace style solution where they add to their existing product menu or product choice suite. Yep. Great. Well, I, I'm really looking forward in our final session, Andrew, to um, unpacking a little bit further that regulator feedback piece and then also digging into maybe some practical takeaways for trustees uh, to improve retirement outcomes now for their members. Okay. So thank you again for joining us. Talk soon.